Bro, no cap, every single time I open a new Unity project and I see this plain image with nothing in it, it reminds me of how our ancestors landed on Earth. And bro, they were literally like, Goo Goo Gaga. Goo Goo Gaga. All right, my fellow chimpanzee descendants, today we're about to do something very exciting. You see this guy? My guy looks like an absolute burnt gingerbread toast. We're gonna use an AI. We're gonna train it to actually shoot. As a theory, I think it should end up shooting better than it. Okay, step number one. We have to make a basketball field. <clears throat> Let's add a cube. Wow. Mm, that looks nice. Download Unity Text. Okay, what is this? Rock wall. Bro, this thing, not gonna lie, looks like something I own. Proprietary. <laughs> Harrington Bone. <laughs> Bro, what the? F what is this goofy 18, 1800 name? Bro, I want something rough. Okay, something wany like them Snicker bars. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, bro. This is good. This is good. Ooh, okay. Do we have the bumps? All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to make our basket. Okay, there you go. And just drag and drop it. It's time for making the gingerbread of our generation. Now we make Mr. McFlurry's head. For that, all you need is a big ass sphere. Guys, do you think this is a spear? Oh my goodness. Now, our friend Mr. McFlurry definitely does not look like a snowman. Okay, so I've added an arm and... Wait, 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 I can explain, I can explain. Bro, what the hell is this thing, bro? It looks like I slapped a freaking ladder to my guy's shoulders. Hey, we're gonna shorten this slightly further. I'm not a fan of big bananas. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you see, things got a little too messy for me from here on. You see, my initial plan was to have our agent's arms rotate around the y-axis, similar to how a clock rotates. If you still don't understand, it's like that helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. However, after spending 24,000 hours trying to get the pivot system to work properly, I had a much more genius idea. My idea was to have our agent positioned in a shooting position, having a separate game object, it will act as the ball emitter. This way, our training time will be shortened by a lot. Now, after a while, I realized that our beloved snowman has to go. He is simply too simple. Bro has eyes but looks blind. So on the search for our new model, I encountered an old friend. Okay, we, oh bro, this guy, <laughs> this guy again. Do you guys remember this guy from the last video? Bro was moving mad in the last video. I think you should check it out. After searching for a while, I ended up finding a new model. Bro definitely does not look like James Charles. Scaling the model was quite weird because I ended up getting a widescreen Putin. No cap, this model was quite weird to work with. What the hell is this thing? After having a quite fruitful conversation with ChatGPT, I got the ball emitter to work. Or well, at least to emit some balls. And guess what? My PC hung! Great! After having more conversations with ChatGPT, my PC kept hanging because apparently the code it decided to give me was releasing thousands of balls at one time. I ended up ditching James Charles 2 and adding, well, Mike Tyson. But guess what? The creator of Mike Tyson decided to use hundreds of individual small cubes to make up the whole body, which was kind of bottlenecking my unity and hanging 
ditching it, I ended up ditching it too. I know you're wondering, when will I actually use the player model in the thumbnail? Well, don't worry, you will meet him soon. So, I ended up using this thing. Talking with ChatGPT, I actually got the ball emitter to kind of work. Shoot it towards the basket, man. Guys, after a lot of iterations, this is what I have ended up with. So, I would definitely agree that I have gotten inspired by a lot of codes online but hey we all need help right so essentially what the agent sees now which is essentially its observation is just the distance to the code so basically what the agent will learn is if it's a certain distance away from the hoop which is x distance it will shoot the ball with y force and that's pretty much it as far as the reward is concerned there is a trigger it's invisible inside the hoop of the basket and when the ball crosses the second trigger it earns a reward and of course there is a negative reward if the ball hits the ground and now for the most boring part of this whole video the training many hours later all right guys uh I just woke up and let's check the PC. Okay guys, so the training has ended and I have received a .onyx file which is essentially the brain. I will now put it into my behavior and which is where you put the brain file and let's run it. The moment of truth. Oh my god. Yo, Stephen Curry bro, your career is absolutely over man bro these ai's are definitely replacing your jobs now and there you have it boys stephen curry 60 percent well in reality his shooting percentage is more like 48 percent but guess what doesn't matter right our ai has a hundred percent shooting accuracy all right guys before i roll the outro always remember we are all stellar Search but you stay lost We are